A commitment to extend all necessary support to individuals impacted by the incident occurring on Wednesday, September 7th, 2023, has been issued by Acting Chief Fire Officer Mr. Dittney Downs. In a statement reflecting the commitment of officers to preserve the safety of nationals, Mr. Downs reaffirmed the continued commitment of officers to maintaining the highest standards of professional service. The Solution Fire Service wishes to reassure the public that the organization maintains the highest level of professionalism among its emergency vehicle drivers, including ambulance drivers. With the critical nature of calls undertaken by the department, every second counts. Emergency response officers remain dedicated to the safe transportation of members of the public to and from medical facilities. According to the acting chief, the St. Lucia Fire Service holds several chapters of its emergency vehicle operator course per year, with two sessions being completed within recent weeks. The 40-hour courses were conducted from the 14th to the 18th and 21st to the 25th of August 2023. No new undertaking, the Emergency Vehicle Operators course, EVOC, has formed part of the training curriculum of the St. Lucia Fire Service for several years. The Emergency Vehicle Operator course has been administered by the St. Lucia Fire Service for the past five years, commencing in 2018. Officers continue to be engaged in training through the support of the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, which is in alignment with stringent international standards. In 2022, in excess of 15,000 ambulance calls were recorded by the St. Lucia Fire Service. In that year, only one accident involving emergency responders was recorded. Maintaining the safety of members of the public while delivering care remains of significant importance to all officers. The safety record of the department remains almost unblemished and is a standard accorded the highest priority on a day-to-day -day basis. An investigation to determine the cause of the incident which occurred on Wednesday, September 6, has been launched and remains ongoing. Providing an update on the officers affected, the acting fire chief also addressed the potential impact of the incident on its ability to serve the public. The loss of the ambulance will present some challenges to the response rendered due to the impact on resources. However, the government of St. Lucia has approved the purchase of four new ambulances. This is expected to improve the response extended to members of the public. Two officers of the St. Lucia Fire Service, the driver and attendant on board, have been discharged and are recuperating. Mr. Downs also revealed that engagement of the individuals affected by Wednesday's incident was swift, with assurances of support extended on site. Immediately after the rescue operations were conducted on Wednesday morning, I spoke with the tenant and the individual responsible for the home impacted. I convey that the St. Lucia Fire Service is committed through its insurance agents to ensure that the property is restored to its original state. 45 minutes after the rescue operation concluded, the insurance adjuster arrived on site. He was accompanied by the Deputy Chief Fire Officer, Mr. Thomas John. Earlier today, I also spoke with the individual who was accompanying the patient and assured her that the department remains fully committed to provide any support necessary. The Minister for Home Affairs, along with the management and staff of the Department of Home Affairs and St. Lucia Fire Service, extends sincere condolences to the family and friends of the deceased and empathy to the family impacted. From the Department of Home Affairs, I am Kiba Talia reporting.